About a year or so ago, I stopped going out to cafes and ordering expensive lattes. Now, this is great for my finances, but this doesn't help my craving for lattes. And so when a company called Stereso got in touch with me and asked me if I'd be interested in testing out a portable non-electric espresso maker, I jumped at the chance to try it out. So this is it. They include this carrying case, which is actually very nice. It has this uh, very nice little handle on it. I like this. Uh, it's a nice touch because not only does it make keeping everything together, uh, but it keeps it clean. So I like that. And this is the espresso maker itself. Very tiny. I think that's smaller than a can of soda. Although I don't drink soda. I only drink coffee. That's true, actually. Uh, now, this kind of nests together to keep it kind of tight and uh, compact. So uh, there are a few pieces here. So I'm just going to take it apart and we will start with the main body of the unit. So uh, the outside is made of plastic. Uh, there is a silicone sleeve around the water chamber here, which is a nice touch because when you fill this up with hot water, uh, the silicone makes it easy to uh, pick this up and move it around. Now on the top, if we take the top out, you can see on the inside, uh, everything is stainless steel. So everything that the water would touch should be stainless steel. I really like that. And the top itself is a pressurized system. So once you put your hot water in, you screw your top on and there's a little mechanism here. So if you just turn this counterclockwise, you get a little piston here. So that would, once you pump it, that would provide the pressure uh, that builds up inside that pushes your water down through your coffee grounds that are on the bottom. And you get to those coffee grounds by just unscrewing the bottom piece here. This is basically like a portafilter, you might say, in a, uh, a full-size espresso machine. So you've got this little holder and then inside is this little stainless steel cup that you would put your uh, coffee grounds in. Again, uh, the inside is stainless steel, as you can see there. So like I said, once you've got your coffee grounds here, you would just thread this back on. And then there's an, there's an outer ring here that this assembly will fit into. And then the final piece here is the little cup. And this is a nice little design cup. It again is stainless steel, which I like. And the outside is silicone. So that means not only will you be able to pick up your finished espresso without it burning you, but it helps keep your espresso shots warm uh, as you're drinking it. So I really like that. So that just sits on the bottom. So once you've got that together and got some hot water and coffee grounds in here, you're ready to make a cup of coffee. And this is really easy and intuitive to use. In fact, it's so easy to use, you could do this outside on a park bench. Let's do that. So here I am setting up on a park bench in Mission Bay in San Diego. It's a beautiful day out today. It's a great day for a latte. So I've got some water heating up on my little camp stove. And here I am adding the coffee grounds into the filter basket of the Stereso. And they do include the scoop, which I didn't mention earlier. And here I'm using the piston on the main body to act as a tamper, just to tamp down those coffee grounds nice and tight. Now that my water has come to a boil, I'm just going to add that into the main chamber. And they do include some markings on the inside of the chamber so you know how much water to add. There's no guessing needed. You'll know exactly how much you need for one shot of espresso. And then I'm going to heat up my milk. And while that's heating, I will pull the shot of espresso. And this will give you pretty good look of just how easy it is to work that piston and you can see the shot of espresso 
that is uh, falling down into the little cup below. And as you can see, this is a very nice looking shot of espresso. And now with the milk heated up, I just mixed the heated milk with that shot of espresso. And this would probably technically be a flat white because I'm not frothing the milk. I really don't like the froth that comes on a latte. So this is the way I made it. Uh, but whatever you call it, I call it delicious. So I hope that gave you a good little look at just how easy this espresso maker is to use. And now let's talk about positives and negatives. I've got lots of positives and a couple of negatives. Uh, first up on the positive category is this makes a very good shot of espresso. Now, does it make as good of a shot of espresso as you're going to get at a fancy cafe? I would say probably pretty close. Maybe not exactly like you'll get at an expensive cafe, but it's going to be pretty close. Uh, the one thing that I found over the several weeks that I have been uh, testing this out is the quality of the coffee beans uh, really made a difference. And there, there's no surprise there. I mean, the better quality coffee beans you use, the better taste you're going to get. That's, that's nothing unusual. I did find, though, is that the grind size uh, did really matter. And this is kind of one of my negatives about this. Uh, and this may just be a negative for me that I ran into because I like to grind my own coffee, uh, but I have this kind of cheap little hand grinder. And unfortunately, my little hand grinder was not able to make a consistent enough grind uh, to really work well in the Stresso espresso maker. Now, that's not a problem with Stresso espresso maker, that's a problem with my hand grinder. Uh, when I was first testing out the Stresso, uh, I just wasn't getting very well extracted espresso shots. And I soon figured out that it was my grinder. In order to solve that, uh, I just went out and bought some pre-ground espresso. Now this is not the best quality coffee, I don't think. Uh, but because the grind size is nice and consistent, I get a much better uh, espresso shot uh, using it. Now, Stresso did tell me that they don't recommend a very, very fine grind of coffee be used in their espresso maker because it can kind of clog up the filter uh, in, in here. And I didn't find that to be a problem uh, using this, but this is not a terribly fine grind coffee. And so it, it ended up working just fine for me. Now, the only other little negative I have with this is that it does take a little bit of extra cleaning to clean up. And maybe I'm just being a, a bit naive about this. So once you're done pulling your shot, you can just take the little portafilter out of the bottom and knock out the grounds that the spent grounds that are in the little cup. Most of the grounds get knocked out quite easy, uh, but I did find that some of them stick a little bit and so i found the easiest way to clean this and in fact the bottom side of the main chamber would be to run it under some water even though it's really nice and small and compact uh, it's probably not the coffee maker that i would take with me if i was away from a place that had running water just because of the cleanup aspect of it so not a lot of negatives as far as i'm concerned uh, with this little Stresso. Uh, getting back to another positive that I found was making a second shot of espresso if I wanted it. So just to explain, when I'm making a, a latte type drink, uh, if, if there's say more than about four ounces of milk, I want more than one shot of espresso. Uh, otherwise it's just a little too milky for my taste. And my original thought was that I would have to wait for this to cool down before I would be able to make a second shot. Now that wouldn't be ideal because obviously my milk would cool down, my first shot of espresso would cool down, and I would be drinking a cold latte once I got uh, done waiting for the whole thing to cool down. But that's not actually not the case. Uh, because the outside of this is plastic and they do give this nice little 
sleeve of silicone around the outside, uh, it makes it really well insulated and you can actually just open it up and make a second shot right away. So what I would do is if I wanted a, a large latte, let's say, uh, I would boil enough water for two shots of espresso. I'd make my first shot uh, and then I would just carefully open this up and knock out the grounds as best as I could uh, quickly. Uh, this does get a little bit hot, but you can knock out the grounds uh, pretty easily. Uh, and then I would refill it, uh, put it back together again, and uh, fill up the top reservoir with my waiting hot water and make that second shot. Now, the reason I was thinking that I wouldn't be able to open this up when it was hot is I was thinking more about those uh, steam-driven countertop electric espresso makers. And if you're familiar with those, you know that those things, you have to wait until they cool down completely before you can make a second shot. And they're, they're really annoying to use. So once they build up steam and pressure, uh, you can't open them up. They're basically a little, a little pressure cooker. I was kind of expecting this to be the same thing, but of course, once I got this and started to use it, I realized that you can just keep making shot after shot of espresso uh, with this. And I, I like that uh, because I don't always want to have a small latte. I would occasionally like to have a nice big latte. And for me, that means making at least two shots of espresso. So there's a lot to like about this little Stereso espresso maker. It really works as advertised. Uh, it's well made, uh, it's simple to use, it's easy to use, and it makes very, very good shots of espresso, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but in order to be uh, open and fair about this, uh, I should mention that this is a sponsored video, so uh, they did pay me a little amount to do this review. Uh, rather interestingly, uh, though, Stresso made it clear that they wanted an honest review. That was kind of refreshing. I get a lot of requests for uh, product reviews and most of them I just turn away because they want me to either follow a script or basically lie about their product and that just wasn't the case with Stereso. So I just want to just make that clear. If you think about it, uh, for the price of two lattes that I would buy out in a cafe, I can buy a whole pound or more of espresso beans and make my own uh, here now that I have this. So for me, this makes a lot of sense. Uh, I've given up on, get, on having lattes and I've been craving that. This now gives me the ability to make a latte and make one uh, fairly inexpensively. So I like this. There's not not a lot of downside and there's not a lot of things that I can really nitpick about this espresso maker. Uh, so I'd recommend it to anybody that's kind of like me and that just doesn't have uh, the funds to keep going out and buying expensive lattes and espresso drinks. Uh, I think that you know who you are. Uh, you know, if, if you're somebody that likes uh, instant coffee, you're probably going to think that this is too much work and, and not something that you're going to want to put up with. But I think most people that like really good coffee uh, would would really like this. So if you're interested in this, um, and again, I'm, I'm not trying to pressure anybody to buy something. If you're interested in this, uh, I believe Stresso is going to give uh, viewers here a small discount. So uh, if they do I will put it down in the comments section and also in the description of this video. So just check there and I'll leave that up as long as the, uh, the discount code is active. Hopefully that covers it. Uh, like I said, I'm not here trying to sell some, something to people. Uh, I just happen to like this thing and I happen to like being able to have a latte again when I want it. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed this little Stereso espresso maker. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.